So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the hypodermis is. To begin with, the hypodermis is not a part of true skin. So remember, we talked about skin is actually technically considered only the epidermis and the dermis. And so therefore, the hypodermis, which is under the dermis, so it's essentially like down here. If the dermis is here, the hypodermis is down there. And the hypodermis is not a part of true skin. And so the hypodermis is mostly adipose tissue, which is fat, and it has a lot more areolar tissue than the dermis. And so because the hypodermis has a lot of fat, it helps pad the body. So it essentially provides some padding and cushion for the body. And so this subcutaneous fat allows for thermal insulation, and it also provides an energy reservoir because remember, fat has a lot of energy. And in addition, it keeps you warmer, so it insulates your body. The hypodermis also helps your skin bind to the rest of your body. So the hypodermis is essentially the layer that's between your skin and other organs. And probably the most important thing about the hypodermis is that it's often the target of subcutaneous injections. So, for example, when you get shots from your doctors, they generally give you a shot into the hypodermis because the hypodermis is highly vascularized. And so that means it just has a lot of blood vessels and therefore it absorbs drugs pretty quickly. And one thing I kind of forgot to mention is that the hypodermis is often referred to as subcutaneous tissue. And so here you see it's labeled as subcutaneous tissue instead of the hypodermis. And sometimes it's also called a hypoderm as well. So there's a bunch of names for the hypodermis. And finally, one last thing I want to mention is that in general, women have more subcutaneous fat than men. And then Infants and elderly people have less subcutaneous fat than other people, and therefore they're going to be a little more sensitive to cold. And so that pretty much sums it up for the hypodermis. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.